Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I want to show you how you can use your iPad as a secondary display for your Mac. This is a brand new feature built into Mac OS Catalina and iPad OS 13. I thought it was really cool. It's currently working on the latest beta. So I wanted to show you how easy it is, absolutely free, to use your iPad's display as a secondary display for your Mac. Let's begin. Now the first thing I do want to point out is this works both with wired and wireless connection. If you're going to do the wireless connection, all you have to do is make sure both the iPad and the Mac are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Now to pair the iPad or use it as a second display, let me show you what you have to do. You have to go to system preferences on your Mac. You want to head on over to system preferences and the side card extension. Now there's a few options here. You see show sidebar, show touch bar, and enable double tap for the Apple Pencil as well. You have additional options here to move these uh, sidebars and the touch bar to different sections of the iPad. You see it shows an illustration here on the left for the system preferences. Right below you have the disconnect and connect buttons. Right here is when you see the drop down menu to actually send the image over to the iPad. So of course we're going to select iPad. Simple as that. It sends the image over to the iPad. Now you can't really interact with the touch screen on the iPad to use the Mac applications. It's only a secondary display. At the bottom here you see the touch bar appears at the bottom of the display for the iPad. On the side you have some key features here as well. These are going to be the features that we talked about here. The sidebar and the touch bar options under system preferences for the Mac. Now let's say I use multiple applications at once. Let's say the music application here for example. And I want to bring this over to the iPad. I can bring it over just like that. Again you can't really interact with things by clicking on them. But you can actually use the trackpad or the mouse to do so. Now this can also be sent right back just like so. Now these menu options on the side you have the keyboard. You can select the keyboard here and start typing away. And you also have additional options here to sort of like bring the dock over and things like that. You can play around with these features. These features are subject to change before it's official release. That's why I didn't want to go too in depth on the features of the iPad. But you do have the ability to send the dock over. You use the, the actual keyboard and the touch bar directly on the iPad as a secondary display. And again, you can send all the apps over just like so. So really cool feature available for Mac OS Catalina and iPad OS 13. I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.